Repeating what I said in the video about manual scheduling and editing, the thing to keep in mind is that it's nearly impossible for a scheduling software to fill in every song in the day without encountering some slots where all of the choices at that particular moment would violate one or more of your formatting rules. Making editing decisions during the scheduling run is the best way to do it. We call that manual scheduling mode. Other videos and documentation show how it's done. Still, some Music One users want to run the full day without stopping and then do their log editing afterwards. That's how all other schedulers were designed to operate. Music One can work that way too. We call it automatic scheduling, and here's how it's done. There are a couple of ways to set up automatic scheduling. One is to turn off the rules entirely. Uh, I'll show you how that's done in a minute. The other is to go to the system settings to the Advanced tab, and here you tell Music One some rules are unbreakable. Then it will stop for those, as it does in manual scheduling mode, and it will let you make editing decisions as you go. And you can say other rules are breakable if need be. And you can set the hierarchy for those. Here I'm saying that artist separation and tempo in the hour are unbreakable. The tempo hour rule sets the maximum number of songs of a certain tempo that are to be allowed, so if my clock rules say no more than four slow songs in an hour, Music One will not allow a fifth slow song to be scheduled. We're always going to observe artist separation and tempo content in the hours. If it has to, Music One will schedule songs that violate the rules that are below the major breakable line. You set the order of importance here, like if it comes to a slot and it has two choices, one is a song that has a title separation problem and the other has a tempo separation problem, then Music One will choose the song that is lower on this list, the tempo separation song. You set your own order of importance by moving the rules characteristics up and down. Use these two arrows to do that. Or, to move a rule quickly, click on it and then hold the control key on your keyboard and use the keyboard's up and down arrows. With this setting, Music One will stop for manual editing when it encounters either an artist separation or a tempo content problem. It will not stop for violations below the major breakable line. Let's load and run a new schedule now. It stops in the 5 a.m. hour, where the only choices it has for the Hot LP Cuts category both violate one of my unbreakable rules, artist separation. There's another song by Dirk Bentley already scheduled in this hour. And there's a Brooks and Dunn song in the next hour. I can override this rule if I want. When I choose the song by Bentley and drop it into the schedule, notice it's displayed in red font. This tells us the song is scheduled, but it does have a violation problem. The other song by Bentley also turns red, and this makes it easy to see the rules problems when you scroll through the hours after every slot has been filled in the day. I continue scheduling, and Music One catches another artist separation problem in the 11 p.m. hour. Now, earlier I said you can turn off rules. Here's how that's done. Open the menu, Rules Enforcement, and remove the check from the box next to a rule label, and Music One won't observe that rule. If you click OK, the rule is turned off for the remainder of this scheduling run. If you click Save as Default, that rule will be turned off in all future scheduling sessions, that is, until you come back here and turn it on again. And now that I've turned off artist separation, when I continue with scheduling, Music One will drop this Tim McGraw song into the slot and finish the day. Now let's go back to 11 p.m. Since I turned off the artist separation rule, the McGraw song is not displayed in red. And now, neither are the two Dirks Bentley songs in the 5 a.m. hour. But if I go back to Rules Enforcement and turn the rule back on, then the red font violations appear again. I can scroll through the day, make some edits if I want to, or I can click the golden arrow and save this finished schedule. 